Hello everyone, this is Ahmed Dan of AhmedDan.com. Today I'll have another episode of GoPro 10 video and I'll talk about how to start setting up your GoPro. So I have done uh, my initial unboxing video yesterday and then today I'm going to show you how you can start setting up your GoPro for the first time. So this is going to be a basic, simple and easy beginner's guide and I'm just going to touch base on the things you only need to know. I'm not going to go through the whole settings and everything to make the video lo a long video. For that reason, this is going to be a short video or I'll try to make it sh short and simple. So let's see, you have your camera. The first thing you're going to be doing is that you need to update your camera because uh, if you look here, this is the first thing you're going to see that you know you cannot use your camera before updating. So you c your camera has to be updated before you can use it. So GoPro did this uh, because you know they want to have uh, the latest uh, software inside the camera so before even you start updating that uh, you're gonna have to charge the battery uh, so for which I have it right here and it's kind of difficult to open the battery tray and you're going to see that you know this is a bit uh, confusing uh, because uh, you're going to see here that uh, if you just you know uh, put the GoPro facing towards you, then you're going to see kind of like, you know, two uh, sides. One is right here. And this kind of looks like a door tray and there's another one right here. But actually this is not anything you can open. So you don't try, don't try to open this one. And this part just to drain the water and uh, you don't have to actually open it or you cannot even open it. Uh, but this is where uh, is the tray or battery tray located and you have to open uh, this part so the way you can remember is that this is where all black there's no like you know GoPro logo or writing but this side has GoPro uh, 10 uh, so you are always opening the left side when you, the camera is facing towards you so the trick is you have to slide it down the door and then you have to slide it up and it took me a while to open it and even I opened it so many times it like you know it doesn't happen right away for example if you look at the old GoPro uh, this is Hero 7 it's very easy and simple to open you can just push it and then you can just open it it takes like you know one second uh, but this one is not like that so in order to open this what you're going to do push it down and you can see that you know it's kind of a little bit came down so let's take a look here so you can see that you know this a uh, little bit came down and then push it up so here is the door latch uh, and then let me just close it again this is very user unfriendly so you're going to like you know put your finger right here and press it and to push it down see that you know even it's giving me trouble right now although I just opened it so you are going to press it down and then push it up now you're going to have to insert your battery because for the first time you need to charge your battery it will take about three hours and the way you know that you know you have the battery towards the right direction so just remember this that GoPro is facing you and then you're going to be inserting camera uh, facing you as well so you're going to just you know uh, put it this way and they're both like you know facing you the GoPro logo here and the GoPro logo here and then you're just going to be you know uh, push it forward inside it and then you can see that it fits very smoothly uh, if it doesn't fit smoothly that means that you're doing wrong now before you do that I'm going to just also sh also show you how you can insert the SD card so when you insert the SD card it's kind of opposite so if you're facing the camera the logo of the SD card uh, is going to be actually facing the backward or where the battery tray is so you're not going to put the SD card this way but you're gonna have to hold it this way and then here's a tiny uh, hole for SD card and then you're just going to put it in here and you can see that you know it's easily uh, sliding in and then you just push it and you're going to hear a little click so which is going to be 
right there. Now, if the SD card is not smooth, then you know that you're doing something wrong. So don't push it too hard, to, uh, uh, otherwise you're gonna break it. So now we're just going to insert the uh, GoPro camera. I already, a battery, I already charged the battery. So you have to charge it before you use it. So now I close the door and then we have the camera and you have you heard a noise and you see that you know it's starting on by itself so now you're going to have to go through the updating so i'm going to just you know remove the cover which is right here uh, let's put it there and then i'm going to remove the lens cover which is right here just put it there so now you're going to have to uh, update your battery or gopro and then it tells you actually there's another layer which is right here so I'm just going to uh, remove this and then actually I don't see any easy way to remove it so I don't know how why there's nothing in here okay so it's kind of giving me hard time okay so it looks like I was able to find it and now I removed it okay so it's just giving me French instructions. Uh, I'm not sure why. Okay, so it's not doing anything here. So I'm going to, you know, press this button to turn it on and let's see what happens. Okay, so it looks, looks like it just turned on or I'm sorry, turn off. So I'm just going to restart it. Okay, so now, you know, it's turning on for real. And you can see that we have the language setting. So I'm going to put it in English. Uh, somehow it was in Italian. So just put it in here. And then you have to agree uh, to the terms and conditions. So hit agree and then turn on to your footage with the local speed attitude altitude and more um, which is just turning on the gps you know i'm not going to do it now so i'm just going to keep it off now you can see that message that your gopro must be updated uh, so what i'm going to do right now there are two ways you can update your gopro one is just by going to the app which you can easily uh, install from the app store or google play store and the app actually uh, looks like this which is i have it uh, right here gopro quick so that's the best way to you know update the phone if you are trying to do it without an app or phone then it's going to be kind of difficult then you have to go to gopro's website and then you're going to have to like you know, install the file and you're going to have to go through the process of like you know getting the file from your computer which is you know much uh, difficult and it's not user friendly so i don't recommend updating from the website it's just best to update from the app okay so now we have the gopro here and i'm just going to open the app and see what happens here okay so here i'm going to just click on here and then uh this one is connected to my old GoPro, so I'm just going to, you know, try to touch with a new GoPro or connect it to a new GoPro. So here, please turn on the Bluetooth to find your camera. So I'm just going to turn on the Bluetooth right here and it's searching for the camera. So I'm not sure the Bluetooth is on on the GoPro, but it looks like, you know, it's searching. So you have to just select which camera you want. So I'm just going to hit GoPro 10 and then it says the swipe down and then tap connection. Okay, so it's kind of telling you what to do on your camera. So swipe down. Okay, it's not registering any movement here. So I think I'm just going to see here what happens if I hit just continue and let's see if it can connect automatically because it's not letting me even swipe down or doing anything okay so you can see that it found my camera uh, looks like you know uh, it 
knew what to do so we found your camera connect so I have a pairing request on the phone and then pair and connect and pair with GoPro 8289 and then I'm just going to say yes and pair okay so I'm not sure why it's not connecting right now but let's see what happens now okay so change camera name so I'm just going to put it GoPro 10 and that's going to be the name and save new name and you see that you know it's saving right now okay so I'm not sure why it's giving problem so leave as is let's install your update so continue and it's going to update the camera so update camera and connect it to your camera's Wi-Fi hello everyone so I got a message that accept and continue it took a while to connect to GoPro and I got another message in between uh, that you know uh, GoPro had to create a temporary Wi-Fi network which I clicked yes then I got this message that uh, accept and continue so I'm just going to hit accept and continue and you can see that started updating and transferring update to your camera so you can see that you know the flashing red and you can see also the updating so just going through the initial updates and this could take sometimes uh, a little time but let's see how long it takes here So I got this message that update complete but now it's gone so it could be that it's just restarting so it looks like yes so it has restarted and you have the initial screen right here but however somehow the phone still says that you know it keeps updating so I'll just you know leave the phone here so now I'm just going to very quickly show you some of the basics uh, actually sorry uh, we just got the message on the phone that you know update has been done so just leave the phone here and then uh, so here you're looking at the main screen so this is a standard uh, screen or face when you open your GoPro and right now this is set this way you can customize some of the settings later on but today I'm just going to show you how you can start recording right away uh, we're not going to go into detail so here it shows your battery mode which is 74% and and this is your default video mode if you want to change it then you have to just drag it to the left or right and you can see that you know it's giving you photo or video so we'll just leave it to video right now and here it tells you how much uh, memory you have in your SD card so you have uh, 4 hour 26 uh, 4 hour 26 minutes for the current setting and then here it has 1x so if you click on here then you can see that you know what is your speed uh, right now it's normal speed and you can like you know go higher or lower so we'll just leave it here and then here if you click on w then you're going to see that you know it's uh, showing a wide right now uh, and then if you go up then super view and then if you are looking for normal video recording just the way let's say your cell phone or your camera records then you can uh, set it to linear and another mode would be linear horizontal leveling and what is that uh, that you know if you just bend your camera it just stays horizontal up to a certain degree so for now let's put it back to linear and then here by default is giving you the standard mode but we're going to just change it to cinematic uh, and then you can see that there's a small uh, plus sign right here so you can create your own mode uh, different uh, later on but you cannot delete these three standard uh, the these three modes so if you click on cinematic so right now we are cinematic mode and if you click on the right so for cinematic mode these are the standard options you're going to get uh, you can leave it on for for now the only thing i'd like to change uh, which is that you know here you see the color is natural but if you want a vivid color then you can change it to vibrant and or you can just keep it to natural so that's the one thing you can change but everything else 
you can just leave as is and then later on you can see that you know there are options to put the shortcut on the screen and you can do that as well so another thing that from any screen if you'd like to go back to the main you can just press the mode button which is uh, right here and it just goes back to your main screen so that's something uh, to know and then if you want to start recording then you have to just press it once so for example if I press it, it starts recording and if you if I just press it again then you can see that you know stop recording and if you'd like to see your files or in you know your recordings then you can just scroll up and then it's going to show you everything uh, and you have the option to select more than one file and if you scroll down then it's going to give you you know some more settings and here you can change lots of different options and today in today's video i'm not going to go or discuss about these but definitely i'm going to have more videos in the future so that's how you can update your gopro and start recording for the first time so let's say you want to change to photo instead of video so just you know slide it to the left or right and then you're going to see that you have the photo option and then if you click on here then it's going to give you some more options which you can go through and change if you need to but for today today's video i'm just going to stop right here and that's how you basically you know uh, update your gopro for the first time and uh, start using it thank you for watching this video there'll be more videos coming up so i'll see you shortly thank you